Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. And we are heading home uh, from our trip to Oklahoma. Um, we are north of Wichita, so we're planning on being home sometime this afternoon. Uh, good morning, Lori. So I thought we'd pull over real quick and Ann and John are getting some coffee and uh, we're going to read a little scripture together. So I hope you guys are off to a good Friday. Um, we left a little before five this morning and um, are ready to be home. So um, so good morning to uh, Lori and Lori and Scott, Roseanne, Alma. Glad you guys are all with, um, with me today. Um, we're going to be reading... Um, from Mark chapter 8, and we're just going to read a couple verses uh, today. Good morning to Brenda and Simon, um, to Cheryl. Good morning. Just going to read a few verses from Mark chapter 8, um, verses 11 through 13, and um, then I'm going to continue to drive. So, um, so remember that Jesus has just fed 4,000 people um, using... Um, the loaves and the fish, and they picked up, um, it says they picked up, uh, some extras, seven large baskets of extra food. And then Jesus, uh, immediately gets into a boat and crosses over to the region of Dalmanutha. So this is verse 11 from Mark chapter eight. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had arrived, they came and started to argue with him. So isn't that your best part? Isn't that the best part of your day where you you go somewhere and as soon as you arrive, people show up and they start arguing with you? Testing him, they demanded that he showed them a miraculous sign from heaven to prove his authority. When he heard this, he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, why do these people keep demanding a miraculous sign? I tell you the truth, I will not give this generation such a sign. So he got back into the boat and left them, and he crossed to the other side of the lake. Um, I just think, like, Jesus does not have to prove who he is to people. And continuously throughout the Gospels, the, the Pharisees are wanting to see a sign. Um, elsewhere in uh, John chapter 9... Or John chapter 6, excuse me, in John chapter 6, the people want to see a sign. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who does this guy think he is? Um, and Jesus just continually says, I don't have to, I'm not going to prove anything to you. Um, you can just see who I am through the words that I say, through the deeds that I do, and the way that I meet people's needs, in the way I take care of people, in the way I feed them. Um, in the way I proclaim God's kingdom to them, uh, Jesus is just not interested in, um, in giving them signs to prove who he is. Um, he is just going to love people. He is just going to serve people. He is just going to meet people's needs. And I think that is a really good example for us. Um, there are certainly times where, where we should and we often should tell people that we're followers of Christ. We should tell people why we do the things that we should do. Um, and at the same time, we should also simply love people. We should meet people's needs. Um, we should do things that honor God and glorify God. And we have opportunities to do that all the time. Um, through the way that we talk to one another through the way that we talk to the people that we work with and we go to school with and all of those kinds of things. Um, I think we have, we, get, we have opportunities all the time to just be faithful to God and not make a show of it. Um, in Matthew, Jesus warns people against like praying on the street corners to be seen by other people. What God wants us to do is just be obedient to him, to be obedient to his law, um, and for us as Christians, that looks like living like people who have been transformed by the Holy Spirit and just love other people. So I want to encourage you today in the things that you're going to do, um, to just love people, to be kind to them, to be generous, 
um, meet needs where you're able to meet needs. Um, and don't worry about having to try to prove anything to anyone else. Um, just let your just let your words of kindness and your good deeds uh, to other people um, demonstrate who you are. So I told you it was going to be brief today. Just a few verses. Mark chapter 8, 11 to 13. Um, we have a lot of things going on this weekend. Um, Sunday, we're doing, um, we're, we have our 10, 15 time together. Uh, Monday, we have uh, Shane's memorial service um, at 2 o'clock uh, on Monday at the Westway building. Um, so lots of things to be praying about. Pray for the people in our in our congregation who are dealing with coronavirus. Um, pray for families who've recently lost loved ones. I mentioned this yesterday. The Coops and the Elliots and uh, Bobby Daggett. Uh, we want to continue to pray for each one of those um, families in the midst of their losses. Um, again, uh, we're going to be home a little later today. Can't wait to be home, and I'm looking forward to being with you on Sunday. So um, I'm going to pray, and then we'll uh, finish this. Uh, God, thanks for the opportunity that we have um, just to read a few verses together today. Um, help us to be faithful to you in all the things that we say and do this today. And it's in your sons and we pray. Amen. Okay, love you guys, and I will see you on Sunday, if not before. So have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you Sunday.